When folks say that a thought feels faster than light, they know the physics is not on their side. Light runs at 186, 282,000 miles per second, or 299, 792 kilometers per second. There is nothing in the human nervous system that even comes close to that number. But here's the interesting thing. The brain doesn't need that kind of speed to feel instant. It works in a way that makes raw distance essentially irrelevant. In the 1850s, German physiologist Hernan von Helmholtz, he ran one of the first real tests of nerve conduction. He had a very basic setup, frog muscle, a wire loop, and timing tools sensitive enough to measure thousandths of a second. He found a nerve impulse moved about 90 feet per second, roughly 27 meters per second. Modern studies show a much wider spread. Slow fibers in the skin and gut crawl around 2 miles per hour, or 3.2 kilometers per hour. Fast, myelinated fibers in the limbs and spine, they can push close to 270 miles per hour, or 435 kilometers per hour. None of this is anywhere near the speed of light. Yet human reaction times can land around two-tenths of a second. And that gap between nerve velocity and reaction timing, that, that's the real story. You see, a thought isn't one long electrical run. The brain works in very short jumps. Humans carry around 86 billion neurons, and most signals travel microscopic distances. Many synapses are only one micrometer wide. That's about 0. 0.00004 inches. In the early 1900s, Spanish neuroscientist Santiago Ramón y Cajal, he stained thin slices of brain tissue, and then he mapped those networks by hand. His drawings showed neurons packed into dense clusters, each talking to neighbors across those tiny gaps. And because the distance is so small, total travel time inside a circuit barely matters. A signal can jump across dozens of synapses in the same window that it would take a long fiber to send a message down a limb. And when you track a baseball, the moment that it leaves a pitcher's hand, or when you hit the brakes after spotting a deer, your brain its not firing down one long line. It's pulling stored memory, real-time vision, and instinct all at the same moment inside a tight neighborhood of cells. So no, thought doesn't outrun light in open space. But thought doesn't operate in open space. It works in an enclosed system where the longest trip to a signal ever makes is measured in thousandths of an inch. These are Interesting Things with J.C.